Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Valhalla tonight. And shamefully, I must admit, I forgot about most of the new characters we met last time. It's been five days, so... My memory ain't the greatest. But we'll, we'll, we'll get a little refresh here, I'm sure. Hey, G.I. Jones, how you doing? Good to see ya. Alright, so supposedly we just bought some nano camo or whatever, and we can spruce up the room. But at the same time, I believe... That costs money. And we don't have a whole lot of money, but we'll see what we can do with this. What can we do here? We can do colors. Of varying shades of stuff that I wouldn't want to uh, put in my room, but whatever. We can do patterns. Ugh. Leopard prints. Oh, we could get some... We could get rad for 10,000? Jesus. <clears throat> Oh, hey, I, d I do remember asking you if I could keep calling you that, just because that's who I knew you first by. If you'd like me to change and call you by your current handle, just let me know. I will use whatever name people are most comfortable with. Uh, we could get some, what is this, a magical girl and a cat girl? I really want, kind of want this one, but it's 1500 bucks. That's so expensive, so we're not going to change anything yet. <clears throat> All right, cool. Then I'll, then I'll go with your old name. Until you tell me not to. Um, so what else can we do? Can we read some news? Or did, is there no new news? Oh, cool. Here we go. We got some new news. White Knight just beat this person up. Ha ha ha. Sucker. Oh no, I went for buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to my milk and I'm finally out of there. Give it three nights, blah 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 blah. I see my bag, blah 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 blah. Or military service ID. Whatever, okay. Blah, 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 Ask for money or else they'd plant drugs on me. Ha! Oh, law enforcement being a shit. How very prescient. Much refused, they lose their patience. One of them ran the town with the guns, bleeding for like crazy on the floor, and they just took my groceries and left. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all right. Well, that's not a great story, but how are you doing? Streaming Chan. Oh, yeah, the Streaming Chan, the girl that passed out on the floor of the bar. Bartender was a cutie. Yeah, that's right! I was a, I was a cutie! <laughs> She's full of herself. Well, whatever. Fucking, I ain't getting naked in front of untold tens of people. What fucking ever. Okay, I'm going to next week and ask her for a date. La 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 la. If nobody has the guts to ask someone, Oh, she's still sleeping? Yeah, bartender's been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words. Ha! <laughs> oh, they need to be careful with that she say. <laughs> Avoiding casual racism. Oh my goodness. There ain't nothing casual about racism, kids. That shit's no good. So another of the shady stuff this fucking city, huh? He's sleeping now. This time I started taking some rest. It was about a week ago. <laughs> That's one hell of a drug. Oh my goodness. Well, the bank is getting attacked. Hey, we kind of we kind of heard about this a little bit, didn't we? No one's reporting on it. Actually, surprise. It's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. Fucking coward. Blah 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 blah. Wasn't going to site. On the inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Really. Huh. Huge false flag, yeah, that's probably the typical thing to do. Alright, well, it's an interesting bit of info. Who knows how much of it is actually true, but whatever. Andrzej, the Apollo Trust Bank, suffers terrorist attack. I hope Kim comes back to the bar. She was a nice lady. I had screen is downtown, I guess no one else, but it seems to be a terrorist threat, blah, 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 blah. An unidentified bomber already inside the building. Counterterrorism unit responded immediately. I might be dealing with a dual threat here. Blah, 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 blah. Hostages are trapped. There's hostages. Oh, I hope Say is not part of that unit. Let's be honest. I'm worried about her. I'm going to die is being attacked. Wah, wah. <clears throat> Take your security seriously. We have an obligation to disclose recent articles and others were vandalized. Or a very good impersonator. Blah, blah, blah. Extend our apologies. Blah, blah, blah. Limiting coverage to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Yeah, good luck with that. We should reach historic levels next year. Oh boy, it's already kind of happening. The most countries in the world have adapted their economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change. The United States hasn't signed the Paris Accords because we're a bunch of fucking idiots. Uh, oh, sorry, I was I wasn't uh, reading the actual text here. I was reading between the lines. Let's say sterilizing the ancient technology in order to keep profit costs low, profits high. As an old backwards policy seems as though we'll be experiencing huge increase in air pollution next year. Can you this levels? Blah, 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 blah. Special raincoats and umbrellas does suck. I actually say you better get used to it. Oh, God. Yeah, instead of solving the problem, let's just fucking, uh... 
ignore everything, I suppose. And I think everything else is pretty much the same, right? Yep, okay. Hiramiki hasn't uploaded anything new. Uh, so we bought whatever it was we needed to stay happy, right? Can we buy anything else, you think? Oh, what else we got? Night of the ID snatched the beloved police mockumentary. Nice. I really want this replica toy Turing, too, but that's really expensive. We don't have a lot of money. Just in case. Just in case we need, like, some emergency costs. We probably shouldn't buy anything else for a little bit. Okay. I guess it's time to head off to work. You know what? Let's save. We've just read a bunch of shit. I'd have to have to go back and read it again, so let's save. Alright, now let's go to work. What, boss? Why would I call and say I'm not coming into work today? I like this place. Getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. Yeah, that's... that's, that's uh, kind of twisted logic, but logic nonetheless. Take a break, you know? You're quite the hard worker, and the streets are not exactly safe right now. But I made it. I made it okay. Aren't you happy about that, boss? Never been when you get down to it. Yeah, that's true. Besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. That's true enough. Means of getting their employees to work. Probably. Probably. That's a shady way to do it. That's real shady. Well, that's all right. Like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I got bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyways. Nothing important. Well. He isn't back yet? Nope. He's gone for a couple days, I'm sure. Oh, Streamer Chan is still here. Uh. Oh, she wants me to wake her up? Damn it. No, can we just let her sleep for a while? Dang it, all right. Hey, sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. There's, I'm sorry, streaming chan, whatever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness, why? All right, shoddy downtown bar. All right, she didn't call it a hellhole this time. That's good. Hey, come on. I take offense to being called a flat bartender. Whatever. Ohio Gazamas. Good morning. Evening. Whatever. I have a lot of trouble. I'm going to cost you today or last night. Don't worry about it. You're so nice. Oh my goodness. Please. Alright. Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone. The moon. It burns. I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible. What's this bottle? I give it the, oh, the right, the, uh, the whatever, right? Some sort of rum. Nice! Yeah, heck yeah! Somebody who wants, oh, the, the rum. Grandpa Boo is nice. There you go. Uh. And drag it to the shaker before mixing. Alright, I'll just shake it up, I guess. Here you go. Enjoy this in my office, thanks. Aw, oh, come on. This one stay in chat a little bit. Okay, then. All right, off to the actual working. Uh, okay, let's take off that one, and 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 that one. Okay. Bam. Uh, uh, bam. Bam. Uh, bam, bam, and... Busy boom. All right, let's go. Boom. Oh, Why did you just shake straight up rum? I don't know. That's what they. That's what they told me to do. So I did it. Wait. Oh shit! I missed it. Wasn't it mixed drinks and save lives? Did she mess it up? No, oh, whatever. Oh, Gil's not here. I hope we get a customer soon. Dangerous or weird types? Well, we kind of we kind of hit both of those in the first day, didn't we? What with J. Jonah Jameson or whatever, and that edgy dude Ingram, I think was his name. Whoa, geez, it's a brain in a jar. Uh, how you gonna have a drink there, brain in a jar? <laughs> it's record-breaking drink. What can I get you? A blue fairy. I'll make a joke about becoming real. <laughs> A blue, blue fairy, all right. It's fine, you want a blue fairy? That's fine, all right. You know what, I'm feeling generous, so let's double it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, and a little bit of Karma Tree, why not? Who knows how much that brain can handle? Aged and mixed. Shekka, 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 bo bo bam, here you go. Nice, yeah, this is the thing. Oh, um, how are you gonna, yeah, exactly, I wanna know, how are you gonna drink this? You can grab stuff, should have figured as much. Uh, you can drink stuff. And eat, the same system will do. Oh, okay. Something, um, er, Ms. Call me Taylor, just Taylor. All right, Taylor, fair enough. You do like you can ask me anything. Oh, at least it's a brain with manners. <clears throat> you have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. <laughs> That's a dumb joke, and whoever goes that way is dumb and stupid. Or a brain in a jar, right? Uh, sure not a hologram of that. All right. Bonafide human brain in a jar. Okay, well, let's just get right to it, I guess. How and why? Handsomeness make you speechless. I uh, wouldn't go handsome. Wouldn't be my, uh, wouldn't be my first choice of words, but okay, let's go with handsome. <laughs> yeah, don't see a brain in a jar every day, huh? I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? Oh, boy. Five great living bottled brains of the world. All right, well, great might be gilding the lily just a little bit, but all right. Brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All the computers in our jar scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. All right, well, that's true, I guess, huh? I think you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times. Yeah, probably. I don't have exasperation or anything like that, mind you. Yeah, that's a fucking bullshit lie if I've ever I've heard one. I wanted to have something thoughtful and prepared. Okay. I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. Okay, all right. Jehovah's Witness of the future, please. I don't need a pamphlet. No, not really, but okay. Give it to me anyways, I suppose. <clears throat> World's five brains and jars to this place. Yeah, exactly. This uh, hellhole that formerly smelled of dish soap and dog urine. Oh, you're from around here. Okay. I'm going to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. You been here? No, otherwise I'd remember a cute face like yours. Oh, man. What a flatterer. I have your name, I guess. It's uh, Jill. That's a really cute name. Goodness me. Aren't you scared of going outside today with the commotion around and all? It's stop you from coming here. Yeah, you're right. It must take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. Yeah, I guess. You deal with the situations as they arise, not of what could arise, right? It is very energetic for a brain in a jar, I suppose. I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. Well, certainly happier than Ingram, and more of a gentleman... gentle brain than J. Jonah Jameson, or whatever his name was. Donovan D. Dawson? Dawson D. Donovan? Whatever. I was alive, I'm about to get to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Well, that's putting a positive spin on it. Where do you see from, by the way? I mean, I see your brain, but you got, like, some cameras or something below the fold? And something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't she be happy? I guess so. You wanna make me happy, Jill? Uh, if making you happy involves serving you drinks, I will do that. Anything else is up for debate. Yeah, exactly. It depends on what it takes. <clears throat> Just give you a beer. All right. One beer. One beer. One big ol' beer, in fact, because this brain's a perfect gentleman. Or gentle person. Gentle brain. One, two, I gotta put double that. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can brains get drunk, I wonder? Eh, I guess we'll find out. Boop. Here's your beer. Here, a beer. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Beer's always good. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Not a beer drinker myself. So I'll take your word for it, brain in the jar. Yesterday I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. Thought about that too. You think you, the you in the cybernetic environment feel like she was indeed transferred? Like would she remember everything? Like waking up someplace else and so on? I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a lulum. Brains being used in such an experiment, actually, they can make a functional lulum. Fortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. I don't know. The lulums I've seen so far have been pretty normal-ish looking, I guess. 
That's not how a beer is made. Yeah, you're telling me. I know, but we're dealing with crazy, like, cyber dystopia, cyberpunk dystopia ingredients, I guess. You gotta make do with what you got. I'm not transferring his identity or anything, though, just wiring him to a body. I think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. Oops, Freudian slip. The whole brain thing does look creepy. The body I'm telling you about is just uncanny. Really. How do you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? Is it like the new remade Robocop where he kind of freaks out? Quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I never was too attached to my body. Well, that's good, I suppose. In my life, that was almost literal, lol. You know what the downside of this body is? No, but I bet you're gonna tell me. Can't get drunk. Well, that answers my question from before. <clears throat> if you want to call that a downside. I don't know, getting drunk can be fun sometimes. And you don't want to take it too far. But I guess it depends on the kind of drunk you are. If you're a happy drunk, it's awesome. If you're a mean, surly drunk, it sucks. Especially for everybody around you. Want to drink alcohol for the taste? There are many alternatives. That is true. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. <laughs> also true. Willem can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Being drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Well, that's not... Ex that's not exactly the same as getting drunk, but whatever. It's I guess it's a reasonable facsimile. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle. There you go, now we're getting closer. Hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out, out exactly how you work. I suppose that's true. Hey, Jill. Oh, who's who's back? Oh, Alma. Alma's a nice lady, too. Would be in bar staff? Hey, come on, man. You just came into my bar while I'm talking to this brain in a jar. Can you be a little bit more polite there, Alma? Whatever. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? There we go. How do you put it that way? Jeez, she is picky. Picky, picky, picky. Hey, dinner. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, Alma, what would you like to drink, please? Hello there, beautiful. <laughs> Don't let this Brandon Jar smooth talk you here, Alma. He called me cute. That's very flattering. Of, well, it called me cute. The brain in a jar called me cute. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> it's a little screen shake. Uh, hurt my feelings with that. Oh. Alright, you don't see talking disembodied brains every day. That's what I said. But it took it in stride, so whatever. Work a summer and little maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Yeah, that's... Positive reaction, I guess. It was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Hey, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Wow, those are some strict rules. <laughs> Woo, that was some strict ass rules. But hey, everybody's gotta have rules. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? Uh, Jill's a bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Because <laughs> she knows I won't spike her drink, maybe. I won't spike her drink, I swear. <laughs> Pay for your next drink then. Yeah, what, what are you having? Have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? He's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Have me drink alone? Uh, I don't want to drink that much. I mean, you're not drinking alone, Alma. I'll drink with you. Don't worry about it. Cobalt Velvet. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got to do? And can we double it? We can double it. We're going to double it because I like Alma. 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 Not Elmo. Oop, nope. Four is good. One, two, three. It's not age though. Four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, on the rocks and mix. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Cobalt velvet in a weird tilty glass. <laughs> hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? We didn't get to talk to the boss much so far. We just kind of came in for work. She told us to wake up streaming chant, and then she left. We did give her a drink though, so that was something. Nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the past year. Aw. Guys are jerks. Alma putting it like it is. Guys are jerks. And from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now. Yeah, I, I would like to assume she's not just a client, she's a friend, but I have no idea. Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Oh, well, six months is something like that. Feels like it's been longer. <laughs> oh, zing. Take that, Alma. 
We just started coming here and that was it. Well, the first time I came here, the other guy, speaking of which, where's Pablo? Oh, you mean Gil? You mean John? You mean whatever his face is? He's out for a while. Archimedes. <laughs> no, no, adventuring or something. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual. Next time I showed up, Jill was the one serving and, I don't know, feel like she just gets me. Aw, that's sweet, Alma. I feel like you get me too. There's this chemistry we click. All right, well, let's not go too far. We've only known each other for three days. I mean, six months, I guess. Yeah. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad though. Hey, don't downplay our three-day relationship. Come on, Alma, I thought we were friends. Always good to see a nice friendship. Yeah, there we go, Taylor gets it. Getting late and I've gotta go. All right, see you, Taylor. You were a weird brain in a jar, but you were a brain in a jar, so whatever. That Taylor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Well, I mean, it's a brain in a jar, huh? Well, what do you? You're not, you're not gonna do. You're not gonna make a normal first impression, I would guess. <clears throat> One of five be brains being studied by scientists or something. Summary of it in, in this pamphlet. Yeah, here you go. I'm gonna pawn off this useless piece of paper on you. Better than before. Can't believe I actually met one. How many people are there in your family? Just curious. Just asking, because we're friends and we should know stuff about each other, right? I remember my mom and dad were five, sorry, four sisters and one brother. <laughs> okay, I get you, Alma. I get you. All I have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So A, B, C, D, and E? Really? Actually, the middle. Aw, oh, they didn't follow any sort of fucking rhyme or reason for using the letters, huh? Alright, whatever. Middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it. I never said the order reflected our ages. That's true. That is true. I just kind of assumed because that would be the thing to do, but... Mr. Carlotta's the eldest one. Then there's... Diana. Diana just before me. Then comes Ava at the bottom and... Or, then comes Ava and at the bottom lies Bella... <clears throat> Sorry. The youngest one is Bernardo. Okay. I get you. Never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain about that, I guess. Well, I was a last of five and I was alone for most of my growing up period. That was last by a wide margin, shall we say. <clears throat> Us there, we were never five in the same house. Uh, true enough. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. Being a family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Uh-oh, family troubles? That's no good. How about another drink? Vita and Bernie do, not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. Aw, oh, that sucks. Not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. Wow, that was a quick rebound. Left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Wow. Eh. Was not a clean break, I would say, huh? Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Dang. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. Making it a big mess or making it big in her own life? Now it's time for herself to live her life. Well, you should have thought of that before you got married and had kids, to be honest with you. Didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. Yeah, that's... That's a little soon. Not to judge about any of that. I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want with your own life, but marrying at 20 seems a little soon. Didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like three months. Also, very soon to be doing that. Take your own advice. Oh, burn! Actually, I don't know enough about Alma to know if that's a burn. Hey, never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Oh, she's got a mechanical arm too, huh? I didn't know that. There was that one time and it almost happened, but I blame the damn stadium kiss cam. Oh boy. Going out with a guy my little sister introduced to me. It's her friend's brother or something. Went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. Mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us instead of kissing me. He proposed. Oh, jeez, you shot him down at the basketball game? Although, to be honest, if it was only three months, that's really quick. Almost got caught in the mood and accepted. All right, it's good that you backed off and let logic prevail. In a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. <laughs> well, for like three weeks, exactly. I don't know, maybe you want to get in my pants the old sex on the wedding night line. That's true, but... Going through an entire wedding just for sex seems like, uh, a lot of expense. 
Seems like a lot of expense and uh, run around just to, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Honestly, I can't understand why you thought it would be a good idea. Yeah, no shit. That does sound too convoluted, yeah. Yeah, see? Exactly. Jill, Jill gets me. Jill gets me, 100%. Don't underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. Sadly, also true. <laughs> See more convoluted plots over the years, yeah. Feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Thank you, thank you. Even though we've got the super dramatic music going for this. Oh yeah, it's just some rum. You want some rum? Good enough service, I'm guessing. <laughs> A good enough service? Uh, Kasike. Interesting name. What does it mean? Kasike is the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. Really? Huh. Eh, okay. I'm gonna serve you some of this? I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. I'm the same way with tequila, Alma. You and I, we got our different uh, downfalls, it seems. Yeah, Fringe Weaver instead. Alright. What if I give her the rum anyways? What if I give her the rum anyways? Ah, nah, we'll leave that for another time, I guess. Fringe Weaver, Fringe Weaver, Fringe Weaver. Oh boy, we could double this one too. Let's double this one. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ages in the mix. Oh man, she's gonna get so drunk. Fringe Weaver, here you go. What kind of memories do you have with Rom? Yeah, here we go. Let's get it started. Nothing you need to worry about. Oh, come on, don't be that way, Alma. Ah, crap. Turnabout is fair play and all that, right? Hmm, I suppose I could do multiple save slots, but no. We'll, we'll, we'll play this straight, full through. Full through for the first play here. But we're gonna be giving out mostly doubles from here on out, because I want to see how shit goes down. <clears throat> kind of family is your family? Well... <laughs> well, I'm an only child. Mom and Dad split amicably. Oh, that's nice. It's nice that you get at least that. A violinist. Always away from home with the orchestra. Ooh, that's fancy and cool. Most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, say my childhood was quite uneventful. Well, that's very lucky. And also kind of boring. Did you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? Well, I'm here serving drinks at a dive bar downtown. What do you, what do you think? I played the violin until I was around 16. Ooh, Jill is also a violinist, huh? I don't know, it just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. <laughs> well, that's a good reason as any, right? Cousins of the rest of your family. See very little of them. Maybe because my dad moved away from most of them. My family's live in France to boot. Ah, en français. <laughs> Mom's French? Uh, yeah, I guess so. And do you speak French? Uh, parlez-vous baguette? <laughs> that's about all I got. Oh no, omelet du fromage? <laughs> and wee oui, wee? Oui. Whoa, jeez, what is this? Mon aeroglossure is plein d'anguilles. All right, that was pretty close, I guess. Ooh, what does that mean? I have no idea. Rubbish? I don't know, I can't speak French. Lol, it sounded good. <laughs> Did try though, but college started and then I stopped taking classes. I think I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. It'd be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. My mom's side of my family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. Eh? Yeah? That sounds about how it was for me growing up. Everybody in town knew our family, which was kind of dumb and stupid and bad. But yeah, it's the primary of my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. I was a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? That is kind of interesting, <laughs> actually. Wondering if your family has ever made a huss about... Ma uh, made a huss, nice. Made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Is a mixologist a real thing? I want to say it's not a real thing. Please don't ever. Sounds like something somebody would say to make bartender sound sophisticated. Bartending can be sophisticated, though. I mean, let's not... Let's not downplay it. Hacker's a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. Tomato, tomato, whatever. 
We want to find flaws in their security of the systems and do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Speeding glitch city or anywhere else in the world, they need security or I'm their woman. All right, fair enough. Cracking into databases to retrieve info like some sort of mercenary. Doesn't change the fact that ta hacker is not the best term to use. I guess not. Makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. It is. And frankly, we could use more of those. Mm. Did you tell me we once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? Well, that's less hacking and more social engineering. A mostly honest job, lol. When did you become a hacker, by the way? Always been a sucker for puzzles. Puzzles are fun. Had a Sudoku or a crossword. At some point, they started feeling kind of samey. Well, they, they operate on very consistent logic. That's the whole point of them. When I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. There are all kinds of things involved in breaching that security. Sure enough. Sure enough. Sure enough. Attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. Well, that's the whole point. Kind of like an always evolving puzzle. Puzzle will help make harder at that. Nice. It's less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. Well, duh. Well, doy. Some real-time frantic typing. Nothing like that. Well, sometimes it can be pretty frantic. My code breaks through something. It's an amazing feeling. Have anything else? Have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Okay. Classy drink it is. How about... Mercury Blast. Let's see. One, three, six. Yeah, we can double this one, too. One, two... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All on the rocks and blenderinoed. Shake it, 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 shake it. All right, blended. Here you go. It's classy as fuck. That Mercury Blast. Seems like a kind of gal that would hack two planes in the ground. No, she doesn't seem, like, super black hat-ish. She seems like the kind of person that would reverse that, to be honest with you. What's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Uh, well... <laughs> somebody could pass out on the bar floor. That's already happened, though, and it wasn't the worst, necessarily. It just wasn't that great. You have the right to not give me money. That's true. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bones. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. And you better pay for your drink, Alma. I've been giving you doubles all night. Then make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. Well, lucky you. <laughs> no idea how much I hate you right now. Yeah. Financial stability is really nice to have, isn't it? <clears throat> My job pays pretty well. I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. All right, so you live frugally and within your means. That's good. That's real nice. Maintenance on your hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? Oh, you cheeky bugger. That's very sweet of you, Alma, but I'm good. I'm good. Could be roommates. Now, I've done the whole roommate thing before. It's a good way to save money, but we'll just leave it at that, I suppose. Stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cats are shutting. They got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. Oh. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. Yeah, and it, it is a pain in the butt to move, isn't it? That's why I ain't moving for a damn long time. I like where I'm at right now. Shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? Oh, come on! Now you're gonna pull it back just like you were kidding? Whatever. Fuck you, Alma. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought about it before. Oh, I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. Inviting me to the back of the bar should invite me to dinner first. Oh, come on, really? Like, I, I figured those two were about on par. The intimacy factor and all. The minute you waste making jokes, it's time taken from my break. That's right, because I've got all of zero other customers to serve. Taking my break, call me if anyone comes in. Uh, she must be done enjoying her rum, I would guess. That was only a single drink, what seems like hours ago. All right, we did it. We are on the break of time. Mm. Good shit. Good shit. Alright. Let us proceed. 
don't know half these people. I've seen her before. That looks like Say. I don't know who that is. I can't really make out her face too well. I forget the crazy little one's uh, uh, name. I know one of them was Dorothy. I forget the other one. Cold, 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 cold. Oh, we gotta re choose some uh, stuff, huh? All right. Let's. Uh, I like. I like the opener. The opener is nice and upbeat. But let's get rid of some other things here. There. Every day is night. A neon glow lights. That's bad grammar, but whatever. Let's go with it. Uh, let's scroll all the way to the end here. Face of the Titans, sure, why not? Glitch City, sure, why not? And, oh, Underground Club. Yeah, let's kick it. What does it sound like? Yeah, boy. All right, sounds good. References old parking program for DOS, nice. Ah, that takes me back. Holy shit, haven't used DOS in forever. Used to be my jam, though. There is chili out there. Kind of refreshing. It's brisk, that was the word we're looking for here, Jill. Hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Oh, there's a hobo out there? Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Oh, that's nice. Got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. Really? Could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. <laughs> that's right. PSA, never assume things about crackheads. They could be very nice people. Doesn't that look like a hobo, actually? Really? They're complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. Yeah, sometimes you gotta swallow your pride. If it's for your own good. I'd rather live on the streets for some reason. And tell some people. Why did you become a hobo in the first place? Alright, yeah. Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted from him from his house. Whoops. Serious problem, because he had has epileptic... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Epileptic attacks, but refuses to take his medication. Uh, dude, you should probably take your meds. I need some service here. Oh, Dorothy's back! Hi, Dorothy! Hi, Dorothy! Good to see you again. You two were hanging out at the back of the bar. What kind of stuff were you doing? That's none of your darn business, alright? Alright, come on. Just talk. Is that why they? Is that what they call it these days? Come on, Dorothy. Don't be like that. Don't embarrass me in front of my friend. What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine? But I like you. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, stop! All right, stop crying. I'll give you something soft and sweet. Jeez. Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? Jeez. Come on. Sweet. What about Sugar Rush? Here we go. Alright, fine. I'll give you a double Sugar Rush. That's about as sweet as I can make it. Without any booze at all. All mix rude. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Bam! Here you go. Here, like you asked. Hey, you know this kind of treatment from vending machines. Yeah, that's true. Well, y if you cry at a vending machine, they don't give you better service either, so whatever. Unless you're Lawrence. Oh, did we name the vending machines outside? Is that right? Weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. No, they have to be ice cold. Cola needs to be ice cold. Otherwise, it's dumb. Dumb and bad. Okay, so I assumed correctly that Lawrence was another vending machine. Oh, but how impolite of me, huh? I'm lo- I'm, uh, okay. I'm lovely and my name is Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. All right, we got a last name there. Nice to meet you. I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Oh, Alma's sweet, too. Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Gee, uh, oh, it wasn't for me, right? Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Uh-oh. Mostly about your, um, luckiness. <laughs> ah, that's one hell of a word. That's one hell of a word. I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. No, no. Probably not. <laughs> Take pride in your job. That's right. Take pride in your- Oh, she's got the pouty face again. So cute. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? It can be dangerous, but I got these guns built into my fingers, apparently. And a radiation-proof skin, apparently. 
hacker. Really, a full-fledged hacker. Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that hacking, right? <laughs> oh, poor nubs. Oh, of course not. Always been curious about how being a hacker works, huh? You just start typing really fast and waiting for something to happen? Yes, let's trot out that trope again. Why not? I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. You won't know if you won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that, I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb. <laughs> ah, Dorothy. Never one to mince words. I like that. It was a success. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so at least it was a replica of a light and not an actual light. Because halogen lamps, holy shit, those get hot. <clears throat> okay, then let me try to explain in general how it works. They have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right, got you so far. First, I do some research on the target, OS servers, how the information is stored and all that. In a couple of occasions, where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. All right, good, good, good. First, I secure things from my side, go through seven proxies and whatnot. <laughs> Start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Yeah, true enough. After that, start testing the networks. Go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. If I've tested the ground, the fun starts. All security protocols and look to bypass them. Yeah, sounds pretty standard. Look deeper into the code for the password itself. <laughs> the plain text passwords. I see. And when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. Oh yeah. Getting root, baby. <laughs> How do you do that? Oh. Uh, is Dorothy getting a little flustered here? She's just stuttering a bit. There are a couple of ways. I could use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info somebody already gave me, aka social engineering. The usual way is using a buffer overflow. Yep, in the year of our lord 2070x, buffer overflows still exist apparently. B -b uh, <laughs> Whoa! Okay, Dorothy, let's take it down a bit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, uh oh. Back door. <laughs> Back door in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. Oh no. Oh no, why? Why, why? Oh no. Oh no, why? Ah. Uh <laughs> why did I know? Why did I know this is going to be a thing? <laughs> Oh, come on, they even put her tongue in the shape of- Oh, please. Please, please. Eh? eh? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. No, why? Why are we hitting all the tropes here? Why? Please, why? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> please, please bring it down a notch there, Dorothy. Oh shit, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Have you seen those movies where, for books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook, they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Yes. <laughs> Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, the whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really. We weren't exactly talking dirty, but whatever. <clears throat> Lines don't upload to networks or anything, and trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice. You make millions, horny little men are an unexploited market. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Dorothy! Dorothy, please never change. You're hilarious. Looks like my ride is here. Your ride? Yep, brother in law came to look for me. Alright to ask that for him? It's okay, I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, Dorothy, do you need a ride? Wink, wink. You dropped me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay! Take your offer then. Uh, bye, Dorothy! Thanks for stopping by and being really weirdly turned on by normal hacker talk. <laughs> street seems noisy. Whoa! Uh... Okay. Um... You just really dig the Riddler or something, or...? Uh. An oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. Well... Uh, good sir or ma'am. We have real drinks instead of just spiritual ones. 
Lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. Huh. Hear you hear that. As for everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can sit to kill their insides. A real persona non grata. Oh my goodness. Would you like a drink or not? Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Okay. Okay. Ourselves a persona non grata here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one way to describe it. What will you have, then? 17. Um, pardon? 17. 7 plus team. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Well, this is a fucking bar, alright? Please, give me a better hint than that. <sighs> okay, well... I guess let's let's troll the drink list here. 17. Hmm, is that the number of uh, ingredients in this thing, maybe? Let's just peel through and do a quick add up of all these things. There's 10, there's 10, there's 6 and whatever, there's 6 and whatever, there's 10, 4, whatever, 6 and whatever. Eh, that's close, that's 13. That's 10 and whatever, that's 10 and whatever. Ah, 5, 10, uh, 16, 18. Damn it. All right, it's one too many. Oh, wait a minute. 10, 16, 18. Damn it, that's one too many as well. Eh, 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 eh. Damn it. All right, 17. Hmm. Could I just make one with optional booze and make it 17? All right. Okay, so 17, 17 ingredients was too easy. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> see if the description leaves anything, leaves me any more hints. Oh wait, is it 17 out of 24 perhaps? That would be really simple too. <clears throat> Eight out of ten smug assholes. PG rated. Blah 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 blah. So what is seventeen? A piano man, huh? Okay, seventeen to twenty-four is the best lead I've got here. Let's go with it. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, oopsie, that was too much. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and whoop. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. All on the rocks and mixerood. Shaka shaka. Alright, this is number 17 out of 24. <clears throat> How is this a 17? It was number 17 on my list, alright? I thought it was, and I think it isn't. Ah, uh, yeah, eat it! I subverted it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I totally intended to do. Right. What brings you in here, Mr. Armando? Arm oh, I'm sorry, Armandio. Virgil Ver Virgilio? Virgilio? I'm gonna go with Virgilio. Virgilio Armandio. Introduce myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Is it though? Is it? Right. I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. Well, if you're looking for the smell of dish soap and dog urine, that left like four days ago, so you're a little bit late there, buddy. Passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. Eh, close enough, I guess. The afterlife. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. Oh my goodness. Golden Hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. Well, we did serve a white knight in here a couple days ago. Is that close enough? We have some arcade machines on the corner. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Get the arcade machines in there. No, no, no. You're taking me too literally. Well, you said that subverted your thing from before, so I figured I'd do it again. Whatever. You know, being poetic, I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. Eh, fair enough, I guess. <clears throat> I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. Well, you kind of missed streaming Chan was asleep on the floor yesterday, so whatever. 
You're just a day late and a dollar short on most of this for Helio. I want to see the bar in all its de decadent glory. Well, look around. As decadent as you're going to get. It's been quite the slow day. And I'm very surprised given how things have been going in the streets, though. Humans are nasty bunch. That much is true, yes. Humans are very nasty. Making a ruckus coming at each other, but that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. Ah... Uh... That's not true. Plenty of other mammals kill their own. No zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Yes, Jill, bring in the science. Yeah, then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Uh, don't lions, when they take over a pride, kill any kid, kill any uh, cubs that aren't their own? Like I said, I don't know exact details. I just know that isn't right. Memory serves right once. Yeah. Jill busted out the exact same example I picked. <laughs> crazy. Fucking crazy. I love it. Takes over a pride. You can't take over pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. Not pride the fucking feeling or emotion or whatever pride happens to be. A pride. Goodness me. <laughs> Need to stop making things up. Hey. Alright. In the year of our lord 2070X, I'm pretty sure you have access to this font of knowledge called the internet. So you can prove me wrong, Verhelio, you little shit. Going back on top, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? Is that true? I'm gonna look that up, because that's really interesting if so. Atomic number uh, of chlorine. It is 17, shit! Learned something today. No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know? Jeez, dig the wax out of yours, buddy. I said chlorine, not Chloe. The group where halogens are in the periodic table, is that also true? I think that's also true. Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. What is this guy's deal? <clears throat> okay then, I give up. 17 is us. Um. Come again? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole... Th uh, also false. This guy sucks at basic science. It's 23. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Not primal. Prime. <laughs> Prime. <laughs> Okay, just just let them have it, I guess. Just let them have it. We're not going to get through to them. Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Okay. Six Simpsons reference, bruh. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Have it. Do I mix it? I guess I mix it. There you go. Have a plum fume. There. I took your suggestion literally here, buddy. You better drink it. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Ah, ha! Take that! Take that, you shit! I had exactly what you wanted. <laughs> Jill's revenge. Drink this, um, perfume. Yeah? You wanted it? Hey! You asked for that shit, alright, man? Jeez. That's right, I win this round. I win every round, because I'm the best bartender ever. Have you ever thought about death? Whoa, Jesus, that's a fucking deep-ass subject to think about during this epic-ass music, too. Awesome. What if we're already dead, both of us? Well, if we're already dead, then nothing matters. Who tells you I even existed before I entered that door? Ah, Schrodinger's Virgilio? Can you assure me that this reality is real and we were not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? I can't. Well, I don't think this bar would be either heaven or hell. It's not heaven because it's a pretty rundown bar, and it's not hell because we have drinks here, so, you know. <clears throat> what if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in this room? <laughs> oh no! Is this a self-dig by the devs? Please tell me it's not, because I love this story. I love it. Good punchy to make you feel reality. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's bring some physicality to the situation here. 
Don't care about any of that, actually. Reality's real for me, and that's all that matters. Eh, there we go. A simple way to look at it, but sometimes simple is the best. Close-minded way of seeing things. Oh, uh, whatever. Need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. I don't know. Factual facts are the best facts, my friend. You never reach enlightenment if you don't start... Uh... Um... I'm, I'm sorry, the habanera? It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. That's fucking false! But I'm gonna look it up to make sure it's not an actual thing before I chide this dude. Habanera. Yeah, negative. That is incorrect, you fuck. Stop lying to me. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world <laughs> That guy was weird. That guy was weird. A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Jeez, boss is really fucking calm about all that. Oh hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. <clears throat> I see lots of flashes in the distance, most likely gunshots. Ah, oh, crappity. Five, five gigabits of reports proving that several White Knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. Probably Alice Rabbit or whatever, right? Or what was the other name of that other group? Eh, I don't remember what it was. Reports of several units going rogue, using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Holy shit, that's dark. <clears throat> several counterterrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue crazed units after a plea from the vice president. Still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corsio on the corner of until then. These are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. Recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. Like you, <laughs> perhaps? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I see. Well, that's, that's good to know, actually. Wait, how do I scroll up and down? Oh, up and down, I see. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, well. I haven't really skipped a whole bunch, so whatever. We'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. Aw, thanks, boss. Yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. There is a lot of gunfire going on out there. Hope everything gets solved by the morning. Is Zan, Zan Kanto on hand? Who, who or what is that? Yeah, there we go. Wow, that has a real official name? We are learning all sorts of things tonight. Zan Kanto. Oh wait, what? Super Robot Wars? What? Come on, really? You can't tease me like this, please. Oh my goodness, that is a thing. Shit. Not the thing that they're describing. Nothing that can't bash, <laughs> alright, true enough. Wow, okay, that is an obscure ass reference that I would not have gotten without looking it up. Say Gil for a... Yeah, I'm worried more, most about Say. She was a nice lady. Gil can handle himself, it seems, and cats can always survive without their owners. <clears throat> oh, what? I made a mistake? Is it because I served that weirdo a, a wrong drink, apparently? That's dumb. Weird. All right, so my my stuff was not on the money that time, but we made a 50 cents from somewhere, apparently. And we got a bonus from the boss anyways, saying she'll protect me. Oh, so sweet. That was very sweet of her. But we made a good amount of money regardless. <clears throat> All right, so we got Jill, Gil. I'm assuming that was the boss. <clears throat> Or Dana. Dana Zane. Denizen. Ha ha ha. Bam. Alright. And then we've got Say, and I don't remember her name. Ah, oh well. I should have been rotating Say's, but whatever. We just gonna, we just gonna go with it. Rise and shine, get back to work. <laughs> it's eleven AM though. That's morning for me on the weekends and any other day. Yeah, it's still morning. Still morning by an hour. 
It's still noisy, but forces have been deployed to care, take care of most of them, at least. How so? I've asked the court president is pleading with anyone. Oh, please don't say anyone. You'll get all the crazies out there trying to be heroes. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of white knights just freezing. Oh, dear. I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. <laughs> Still some bad apples out and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, excuse me. Not quite as much gunfire going on. It seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. Ugh. Ugly shit. Not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. Well, I can't really blame them. I hope Say is okay. Yeah, I hope she's alright. She was nice. We worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. What, with being former KGB and all that? I sure hope so. Sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Or I say even safer wherever he is than here. <clears throat> sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. All right, can I go home? <laughs> Want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Oh, that's nice. That's very sweet of her. Grab something for lunch on the way. Hell yeah. Oh, whoa, this is weird. This is different. Oh, nice. Sick Metal Gear callback. I love it. I hang out for a bit? Yeah. Grab a beer, chill out for a bit. Mostly thank you for helping me. Not have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. Did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Yeah, all it took was rapid gunfire outside to make it happen, I guess. Where's me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. Oh, come on. Like, I gave you rum the other day and you were fine. What is beer gonna do to you? To more beer? <laughs> One of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, I don't get that. I think we're safe here. Come on in, then. Whoa, hey, whoa. Yeah, you want one? Don't smoke. Don't mind if you. Don't mind me, though. Smoke if you want it. Well, it is my apartment, but I wouldn't smoke. That's a dirty habit. How's the chilly weather treating you? It's cold from time to time, and nothing the Kotatsu in the heater can't fix. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know what? Didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left it at home. Wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Like a sweater? This hoodie from some time ago was too big for me. Why buy it? It was dirt cheap! Yeah, why not? You gotta take advantage of sales, man. Always take advantage of the sales. Well, where did you get this one? Uh, I don't know, some flea market ages ago. Why? Why? Does it have something lewd on it? Oh, okay. Oh, did she sell it to a flea market and then I picked it up? Just ripped. Oh, oh bummer. Let's see. I don't think of it. How old are you, boss? Eternally 17. Ah. Uh... Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus, I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. <laughs> uh, a woman of class. A woman of class. All right, fair enough. Change it to something more comfortable. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, that is a cat with some blue ass eyes. Hey, Jill, there's a blue eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Oh, it's just Pore. He's just wary of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. Yep, my cats like that, too. We'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, that's also true. Very true. True facts. True facts. Weird, huh? First, I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Have any pets? And we had a bear. A bear. Come on. Come on. Knowing who boss is, I guess that's, you know, fair to have a bear. Ha ha ha. I see. What? <laughs> Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. Right. <clears throat> Picture here isn't something you see every day. Uh, I'm guessing that's Jill in the center. Me taking such a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. That's, um, one on the right is the norm, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. Aw. 
Very cute. Pick recent, or actually that's one from three to four years ago. Look exactly the same. Hey, come on. I've aged, become wiser, become more sullen, it appears. Only 27, what did you expect? That's what they. That's why they say kids are the ones that get old, yeah? True enough. Although, if I looked at a picture of me from three to four years ago, I'd say I looked like a young sack of shit. But whatever. It was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly. Yeah, true enough. Let alone a printed and framed one. Did you break up in good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex. Say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. Aww, oh, that's shitty. And me storming out of her house, bringing a couple things on the way out. Oops. <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that. You probably should not do that. Never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. Just went away, haven't said a word since. Hard to picture you doing such a thing, you'd look so happy in the pic. I wouldn't say happy, but... I, I guess you're doing kind of the cross-eyed silly pic a little bit, so whatever. I ever pick out like this then? Just couldn't get my mind off of something that Alma said to me. About having missed the warmth of someone- Oh, gotcha. You know, the pill, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head in their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head, dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you, okay? Oh no, felt nostalgic, then miserable. So I brought this picture out to remind me of the good times. So oh. You need to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. Just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. You know, if you did break some of her shit on the way out, that's probably a, a fair fear to have. Never too late to apologize, also true. What's that on the table? It's a, it's a postcard. Nothing. Nothing! <laughs> Oh, nothing. Don't worry. Anyways, let's grab some beers. Yep. Good fucking change of subject there, Jill. Way to go. Aw, oh, just even got a little cute-ass balcony. Ah, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? That's funny. Damn, you have lots of beer. Drink. Oh, I see. Well, at least he gives me discounts and a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. That beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? Makes the bar more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. All right, I like the uh, I like the stronger part of that. Drinky drink. And besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. This one is more of a pilsner. All right. Okay. Fair enough. In English, please. That was English. Weirdly enough. Lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Yep. Doesn't taste like a lighter to me. Ah. Uh... <laughs> so it was a bad joke, so drink. This one made with that, um, what was the name of the base liquid you used at the bar again? Carmatrine? Nutriogen- uh, I'm sorry, Nutriogenic Dio- Diacom- mm. Excuse me for a moment. Mm. Nutriogenic Dicometrical Lidogenol. Lidogenol. NDL. It's a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when the maiden kiss polluted war water supplies. Huh. Alright. Effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production, but the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. And this is the one this one made with it. Hmm. Ooh, I'm almost out of drink IRL here. <clears throat> Might be time for a little break to go get a refill. This one made with it? Let's see, yep, here it is, near the end. NDL and cornstarch. <laughs> Good old cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer if I remember correctly, they need it for packaged drinks. And I just realized something, well, what was that? You're a nerd, Jill. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's right, own it. Own your nerdiness. That's the best way to not let it have you bother you at all. It should never bother you being called a nerd. <clears throat> Still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Do you have some too? Fuck yeah, I'll have some. Well, like the indicator over here, I am out of drinky drink. So, we'll take a brief break. I'll be back in a minute.
Oh, I hope that didn't go through. <laughs> Should have muted that before I came back down. All right, we are back with a fresh drink of our own. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's good shit. Okay, so I missed a little bit here. I have to tab back. <clears throat> I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really. No. Okay. So we didn't live. Didn't miss much. And leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. That's true, but you can drink different things and still have it be drinking with friends. <clears throat> it's like words with friends, but infinitely more fun. Well, drink. You consider me a friend then, boss? Aww. Of course she does. Come on. What kind of question is that? Why wouldn't I? Yeah, that's right. She's a sweet ass boss. Oh, with being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Yeah, I, you know, you can be friends with your boss, but you shouldn't make it a point to be friends with your boss, I guess, right? If they're friendly, absolutely be friends with your boss, but if they're not, just don't worry about it. <clears throat> In case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best friends. Oh, boss, you're so sweet. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm a boss in name only anyways. I will drink to that. Mm -hmm. I think more games should come with a drink button. They definitely need more drink buttons in games. Good to know. On a side note, it surprised me you kept that poster of me in the room. Oh, uh, <laughs> even more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you uncomfortable? I'll take it down if you want. If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I guess that's true, but seeing your own face in somebody else's... Uh, area... Can kind of do that to some people. <clears throat> Still wondering why you did it, though. Besides for filling an empty spot on the wall, I, I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. It's just like if someone gave you... I don't know. Uh, gave you what, Jill? Come on, no, you can't. You can't just trail off like that. You gotta, you gotta tell us. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting it to take that turn—a dildo-shaped trophy or something—and you had it there as a conversation starter. Did you really just compare a poster of your boss to a dildo-shaped trophy? All right, you know what? If that's not cause for a drink, I don't know what would be. Although no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Eh. What? No steamy nights of passion? All right, okay, I've had one and three-fifths beers. We are not talking about this right now, boss. Not since a year ago, I think, and I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Yes, please. No one hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. Oh, that's very sweet that you want to go kick somebody's ass straight in for me, but... It's, it'll be fine. <laughs> no, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Ow! Oh, a literal mess? Oh, <laughs> uncomfortable mess and not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Oh, that other kind of mess. Okay, I get you. I get you. No need to go into details, please. <clears throat> Glad to know you have my back, though. That's what friends are for. Wait, you talk about the poster and compare it to have... <laughs> Damn it. Called out. Called out. You just call me Dildo. <laughs> hey, come on, that's Dildo Face, and it's a title of great honor and respect. And that's what friends are for, lol. <laughs> hey boss, be honest with me. Who's Gil exactly? Oh, is this a story we want to get into right now when we're just hanging out on the balcony having beers? Having beers like some friends? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who the fuck is he? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Oh yeah, that. Well, I have a couple of ideas. I know for certain the Gil is in the Hong Kong riots. Hong Kong riots, riots! Oh wait, that's Zoot Suit Riot. Never mind. <clears throat> he took part in the anti-riot force before defecting. Oh, Deep shit. That should give me a clue as to who he is, but... Only found out about one such defector and he didn't leave Hong Kong for at least four years. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. I also know for certain that Gil was in England and France during that time frame. Are you sure? And it's always like that when I think I have a clue as to who he is. Oh, I'm real burpy all of a sudden for some unknown mysterious reason. Can't imagine why that would be, though. It's always like that when I think I have a clue as who he is, something else comes up that contradicts the evidence. Hmm, isn't that very convenient? That guy's troublesome. Sure is. Open. <laughs> Are they gonna stack up there for however many I finish? We can have a big old pyramid when I'm done? Bit, yeah. Wonder if Gil's alright. He's probably fine. Oh, emotionless, ro emotionless robot. He did clean the bathroom for us. So that gives him a, a, a good mark in our book, I suppose. Be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know enough about him to say I can trust him. His trust is a real strong word. And third, he absolutely hates bell peppers. Hmm. Good to know. He does? I've seen him even reject food that has been in contact with it. All right, that's a little crazy. He's not allergic. <laughs> Man, what a baby. How did you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door of the bar shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Oh. <laughs> levitation potion, quote unquote. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have any money. Couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him the drinks for free. After a couple, he broke down crying. Well, sometimes it takes a little bit of bit of encouragement to uh, let your emotions out. I can relate. I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. <clears throat> I tried and failed to find out anything about him, so I decided to take him at face value. I'd judge him from what he did as an employee. That's fair. That That's... That's fair and very generous. Not a lot of people would do that. Aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. Return the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time, sometimes literally. Oh, can we not get into the literal ass covering, please? Yeah, it took him in so easily. I take care of myself, and I always kept an eye on him. Besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. Let's see. Made the bar more lively yourself, you know? Really? With my flat chest and unassuming looks, you think I've made the bar more lively? That's fair, I'll drink to that. Hmm. I should probably slow down, actually. How so? <clears throat> well, with the regulars, you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I'm not sure a hyphen would make that sentence any easier to read, would it? No, no hyphens is probably grammatically correct. But it does make it sound like she's a hacker of titties. A hacker of titties. Hmm. Can't remember her name. It's Alma, by the way. There we go. I'm gonna say Armatra. <laughs> Armatids. She's a nice girl. She is very nice. Even though she likes pushing my buttons. <clears throat> I don't think she's not young enough to be called a girl. It says the girl who's eternally 17. LOL, burn! Fucking burn! A drink for that sick burn there, Jill. <clears throat> EEP 8? What the hell is that? Mega weapon, you talking crazy, man? What's PEP8? Is that something I should probably know about? I could look it up. I am, in fact, not tabbing out to look it up. A style guide for Python code. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, dear. All right, that's the last time I look something up. Tonight, at any rate. Tonight on stream. In any case, she's really lovely. When you hear her speak of her family, she speaks up with such love. Her face just brightens up. Oh, it's very sweet. <clears throat> Makes me kind of jealous that she has such a close relationship with them, to be honest. 
have bad relations with your family? Well, not bad, per se. I'm not exactly close to anyone aside from my mom, dad, and aunt. That's fair. <clears throat> back to Alma. Yeah, let's get back to Alma, huh? <laughs> I'm really hoping she finds a nice guy to settle with. I mean, she's so bent into finding one, I can't help but want her to succeed. Ah, so you could say that Jill is rooting for her. I see. Also, that sex worker robot girl. You mean Dorothy? Yeah, that's right. We on first name basis is with everybody. Bases? What's the plural of basis? Is it basis? That sounds weird. It must be bases, right? But then that's spelled just like bases. Weird. Oh man, it doesn't take much to out nerd me. I I'm a I'm a pretty good nerd in several very specific areas, but there's definitely many areas I can be out nerded. <clears throat> It intrigues me though. I've seen lots of sex workers over the years and she seems pretty giddy. Uh, you gotta like what you do. Not that she likes her job, but rather that she takes to it with such childish excitement. I don't know if childish is the exact right word to describe a sex worker. <clears throat> I've noticed that too, but then again, Lilim can be weird. Fair enough. We've seen what? Three of them? Kiramiki, Dorothy, and what was the one with the kind of like cyber eye thing? Shit, what was her name? Dang it, she was the cool one, too! Alright, some really foreign logic, or absolute logic, since they're technically synthetics, right? I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality, yeah, true enough. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it, true enough. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. I am lay jealous. Oh, it's been a while. Drink. Not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are different. Like a different culture, if you must. Yeah, that's probably true. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. It's a social interactions model. It is C-3PO's human-cyborg relations. Is that what he says, right? Yeah. Been a while since I've seen classic-ass Star Wars. Good set of movies, though. It's a shame they only made three of them. <clears throat> do do. Let them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so... And she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Which... I don't know if you're a sex worker... Would sex be considered a challenging social interaction? If it's your, also your job? Or avocation or profession or whatever it's referred to as? Huh. A lot of very interesting thoughts being put forward by this game. I like it. I like it. And Lilim is a bit weird, though. Yes, exactly. I would have expected Lilith or something else. I expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilim doesn't convey the image of automatons. Well, I'm sure that name has some significance, right? Bots and dolls are considered slurs. Oh, really? All right, fair enough. Bot is akin to calling them retarded, and doll is like calling them fake. Oh, yeah, probably not. Uh, not good descriptors. <clears throat> Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilith? As far as I know, it's because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. Bam! Fucking nailed it! On point tonight. Let's have a celebratory little drinky drink. Uh, I've missed it. Has, been, has Boss been drinking beer this whole time too? If so, she's been on her first can, which uh, Makes me feel a little bit like a like an alcoholic since I've been through three. <laughs> Lilim are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Oh, really? Hmm, that I didn't know. Oh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by my full name? What, you mean Jules? Jules is a pretty fucking solid name. Let's be honest here. No idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne. Oh, okay. Well, Julianne is a... Julianne is a pretty solid name, too. Let's be honest. <clears throat> See? Like that. Lol. No big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud, yeah? True enough. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? No. That's probably a reference to something I'm not getting again. Not all of it, but my little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. And everything, from the dolls to the costumes to the lunchboxes. Alright, hey. 
Everybody's got, like, a little fan crush on something, you know? It didn't help that it's one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. Uh, a couple of episodes once, they were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show is about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. Aww. Kind of the opposite, if you think about it. In yeah, forget it. Fights demons born from greed and vanity. Holy shit. That sounds like a rad show. I kind of want to watch it now. How uh, the show presented Jules hating her job because of invited enemies. Yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became younger when... Tr younger when transformed. Hmm. Alright. This is a pretty ambitious kid's show, even by today's standards. <laughs> you mean in the year of our Lord 2070X, the anime is just as weird and transformative? Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. <laughs> Challenging AF. Whoa, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back then I was obsessed with jewels. I sang the songs, dressed like her, I could even recite full chapters. Hey, come on now. Just because you watch something enough to be able to recite it word for word doesn't make you any less of a person. But it does make you a pretty big ass nerd. <clears throat> <laughs> Something tells me you still can. Ah! It was beside the point. It is beside the point, but also true. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. No shit! No fucking shit! Yes, they certainly are. Art imitates life. Went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules. I always hold my grudge against those fuck jobs. <laughs> We're getting some good insults out of this game. I love it. I fucking love it. We've got chauvinistic horseblower, and now we've got fuck job. I love it. It's great. It's great. It's great. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? Uh, do they? Worried about jerk asses singing the theme tune of the show mocking me. <laughs> jerk ass. I like jerk ass too. It's good. I'm I'm I, I'm partial to shitlord myself, but jerk ass and shit. What was the one we just learned? Fuck job. Jerk ass and fuck job are two really good insults too. <clears throat> Anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Yeah, that's fair. Pavlov would be proud. Hell yeah. Never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect, and yet it affects you even today. Nothing wrong with it though actually kind of reasonable. That's right. You know, when you get that much reinforcement at a youngish age, that's what happens. It carries over well into adulthood. Sure hope so. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? Well, I didn't have this mechanical arm for starters, probably. I was a toddler. I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. <laughs> okay. Then puberty happened and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Aww. Oh, that's a shame. I'm trying to think of what that entails. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. Well, that's not that's not very explanatory. Like we're skipping wide swaths of time without much explanation. Unless I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Boss, you and I can relate to that. Fair enough. So, Jill, what kind of guy was your grandpa? He was rough around the edges, the kind of guy that means well even if he says otherwise. Uh, uh, let's see. So, alright, alright. So, let's see. This is the year of our Lord, 2070X. That would put Jill's grandpa probably in... 20... 2020, 2030? Now, 2010, 2020? Somewhere around there, right? <clears throat> so probably around today, actually. Well, he seemed to have a soft spot for me, though. One moment he was congratulating my dad by berating him a little, and the next he was playing with me. Duh. Oh, that's cute. Dad worked a lot. My mom was always traveling, so I spent most of my childhood with him. I asked how he died. Out of old age. Dad says his last words are something like, fucking scientists created talking mannequins that can't, still can't let you upload your brain. <laughs> oh, dear. Curious about you. Really curious. I just realized that even though we see each other almost every day, I know very little about you. 
Fucking cheers. Damn, most more games need a drink button. This is great. <clears throat> oh, what you tell me though, it seems your grandpa's personality rubbed off on you a bit. What, that I don't take no guff from nobody when I'm serving drinks? Heard that one since I was a kid, actually. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in this circle too, so any insults you hurl will apply right back to you. Hey, if you can't insult yourself, who can you insult, right? Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. Red-headed glasses wearing gun nut called Iris. Gee, I know a few gun nuts. It's called the average American. But I'm bum. <laughs> the one you called for the helmet thing? That one. <clears throat> She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now. Ooh, Panama. Exotic. I remember correctly. Managing a bar? Yeah, got the idea from her, actually. Oh. Called and Ah, jeez, really? <laughs> Nice, Nirvana. Oh boy. That does sound it would attract more dangerous clientele. Let's, let's, let's just put that out there right away. Mm, excuse me. You should see the people she has to deal with there. RC ain't nothing to fuck with. Words to live by. Words to live by. <clears throat> and means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? Or is originally her hotel's bar. Moved the bar to its own building somewhere and opened Nirvan B. <laughs> uh, doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well as Nirvana, does it? Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. You know, I will say I've met some kind of weird folks in hotel bars. Very interesting weird folks. Very interesting weird folks, but very weird folks nonetheless. But it's, it's always kind of a... It's, it's weird to go to hotel bars, but it's always a heck of a lot of fun, even if it is kind of expensive. Bars, her woman cave, lol. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from whom I was with... From, oh, from, I'm sorry. From when I was with the Neo San Francisco Police Force. Please let it be Lexi. Please let it be Lexi. Please let it be Lexi. Yes! Oh, called it! Fucking called it! All right! Fucking excellent! First, first it was the little toy Turing that we can buy. Now it's Lexi from the Neo San Francisco PD. I love it. Oh, it's so good! God damn, do all cyberpunk dystopia games have like some thing, so like some agreement between each other that they can just use shit freely? I love it. I love it! Fucking great! Shout out to 2064, read only memories, it's a good game. Mm, 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 mm. Just had to make sure. All right, that's fucking great. I love it. Wait, you were in the what? Well, lots of things, Jill. Spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter. Ooh. That makes me want to go back and play 2064 and see if I can find any references to uh, anybody in this game now. <clears throat> Both games are made by different companies, I believe, right? So this is Sukiban Games. 2064 was, um... Fuck, I feel bad not remembering it. Because it was such a good game. We had such a good time with it. Damn it, I forget. But yes, I believe they are different companies. Different dev teams. <clears throat> Chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot? Holy hell, that is quite the spread of jobs. <laughs> corporate what? Still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm. I wonder. I actually wonder if Dana here, if Boss here, was uh, Lexi's girlfriend from that game. And the sister of the protagonist. I wonder. God, that's making me curious now. Mid Boss, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I should have remembered that. Midboss did make uh, 2064. Oh, I love that. I love the fucking crossover so much. That's great. Fucking great. You know what? Fuck it. Drink. So there are a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Also because they're the ones that want to hurt me. <laughs> oh, that's dark. How about you? Man, we're getting lots of exposition here. I guess I have acquaintance, uh, acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. I didn't go out a lot, but whatever. 
Felt more like going out was the pleasure rather than the people involved. <laughs> oh, harsh. But also true. That from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, and Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy is sweet. Well, I'd like to consider Say a friend. She was nice. Fuck uh, J. Jonah Jameson, though, or Jonah J. What the hell is his name? Dawson D. Donovan. Donovan D. Whatever. He's a fuckwit. Or chauvinistic horseblower, or a jerk ass, or a. Shit, what was the other one? <laughs> Dang it. Alright, that's okay. This movie here is my own Oh, and Dorothy. Oh shit, there is a reference to Dana in Read Only Memories? Fuck! That's so awesome! I love it! It has been a while since I played that game though, so I'm not surprised I didn't remember. God, that would be so crazy. Alright, you got me curious now. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Look that up real quick, like... That is her! Oh my god, it is her! Oh, jeez. And it even kind of fucking... It kind of fucking matches the timeline, too. Oh, shit. Oh, that's so good. That's so really good. I love it. Alright, sorry. It's the closest friend in the moment. Dorothy... Oopsie, I accidentally clicked drink. <laughs> Accidentally, he said, while taking a drink. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> and sure, there's only this 4A, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. Lol. And you know, he's a cat. Well, you gotta be friends with your cat. <clears throat> a cat's fine too, you know? <laughs> oh, why do I know that reference? Ah! I probably shouldn't. Hey, boss, what will you do when the bar closes? I don't know. Maybe I'll take a friend's offer of working with her. I don't think about going back home and helping with things there. Or maybe going traveling for a while. Don't worry, bureaucracy's, <laughs> bureaucracy's slow as fuck. Yeah, that's true. They won't close the bar for quite a while. Better enjoy being there while you can. Will you be visiting me in whatever bar I end up working in? <clears throat> um, oh, are you talking about the Cat is Fine 2 reference? Uh, you probably shouldn't look that one up. Probably, you probably shouldn't. I'm j I'm gonna recommend against looking it up. But hey, you're your own person. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Just know that you were duly warned. I'm willing to pick with the guy that supervised the bar. I'm planning to get you transferred to. Go there, even though I have virtually no reason to. Be there, I'd have something pleasant to look forward to. Oh. That was very sweet of you to say, boss. Sending me to someone you have problems with? If I have to trust another bar owner, it's certainly him, but he's actually a pleasant boss. <laughs> Come on, no! Oh my god, I'm not using reverse psychology. Don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. Please, just trust me, okay? Please. I'm, I'm begging you, kind of. Don't do it. Actually, kind of do it, but don't do it. The fact that he and I have a tendency to go out at each other's throats in an unrelated matter. <clears throat> Don't worry, maybe I can get you a bracelet made out of wood pieces from the bar's counter or something. <laughs> that's that's kind of weird, but also sweet at the same time. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Yeah, I tell you what. <clears throat> when the bar closes, let's both take a vacation. Go on a trip. That'll clear your mind a bit. Yeah, maybe. Oh, is that the end? We didn't drink a whole bunch of beer. We drank four and change, I guess. This seems like weird ending sequency, doesn't it? I hope not. I hope not, because we're having a good time here. I guess it's snowing, but... Jesus, that was chapter one? We spent two and three quarters nights on chapter one? Fuck me. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I was worried about burning through this too quickly. Thousand dollars. Shit. That's a lot of fucking money. But we've got, looks like four days to make $8,000. Jesus. Plus we gotta go buy a Dharma apparently. So let's go buy a Dharma. 450. Alright, that's reasonably cheap, I guess. Wow, that was just chapter one. Shit, son. 
good. That means this is a nice long game, but I love it because I'm having a fucking great time. I hope everybody's having a good time. Oh. This is a good ass game. I love it. All right, which means we can read some news, maybe. Oh, we've got some new chitter chatter on the on the on the two chan analogs here. Still off the quiet. I'm gonna talk about it very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job to that one rogue article. It's from Kim. Always trying to write serious shit, but I think he got tired of her. I like Kim. I hope she comes back. All we get is clickbait from now on. Probably that I've written by J. Jonah Jameson himself. Oh, excuse me. What did I say? There's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. Oof. Weird as fuck, yeah. <clears throat> wow. All right, it's getting dark there. Being attacked. Explosion. Oh, there's an explosion. That's not good. There's an explosion. It looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs. Any clue on who's doing this? Hearing from several sources that it's a group, a new one looking to overthrow... Shit, what was the name of that group from before? It wasn't Alice Rabbit. What was the... It was something, like, weird and tacky. Fuck, what was it? I don't remember now. No names have been mentioned. Looks like a new group. Blah, 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 blah. Pretty ballsy. Alice Rabbit might be involved. Hackers helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Well, we know one super cool hacker lady already. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. <laughs> My, how things have changed in the year of our Lord 2070X. And the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. And the leaks from Alice, those are nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage is actually pretty unsettling. Available from approximately 60,000 sources. Holy shit. That's a lot of sources. Terabytes to contain all this operation of glitch city government and white knight operations. The ultimate goal is from the attackers not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages toward the servers inside the bank, which had files under several layers of physical security. Yeah, this is some of the witnesses, blah, 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 blah. I need some time. Godspeed and on. Wow. That's getting deep. <clears throat> Did you read the file? Nah. All right. We'll see what the clickbait is. NGU's admin has been arrested again. Name is Hacker Alice Ray Grace, the popular text board is a new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin. That was Fur Fur. Uh, okay. No details to give other than that he was arrested in part of an ongoing investigation. Blah, 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 blah. I'm busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. And Red Fire not the request. Uh, not this shit again. <laughs> not the first time, huh? Okay. Mark making smart underwear, huh? Underwear you can change to the voice command was something you really wanted in your life. Not really, but it intrigues me nonetheless. Oh, wait, where's the Dharma we just bought? Oh, there. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric. They plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stain. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just change the color to black, you will barely notice. It won't change the smell, though. They're not that advanced. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, January 4th card announced. 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke. Headlining. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach the climb of the zoom. Blah, 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 blah. Interesting bots feature great workers such as a great TK Errants and Errants. Full card below. Blah, 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 blah. Red, comma, Junior. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Boss was called Red Comet when she was a wrestler, right? Does Boss have a kid? Oh, I bet Boss has a kid. All right, I can do a great TK. Roy Campbell versus Aaron. Jack Bomb and Blaze versus Hooli and Team Caracolta. Smith versus Siegfried. All right, well. <clears throat> and Boss made me curious. Hello. All right, Karamiki hasn't posted anything new yet, has she? Jeez, what has she been up to lately? I haven't seen her around. All right, time to save. Boop, boop, bap. Wow, so chapter one was six days. How many chapters and how many days per chapter? This could be a long ass game, which is fine, which is actually fucking A-OK. -okay. I mean, let's not, let's not mince words about it. I love it. Oh boy. So I hope everybody's digging it, because we're going to be doing this for a while. All right, time to go to work, I guess. We need 8,000 bucks by... By... What? I uh, can't... Uh, what, what did it say? Like the 24th, I think? 
We need 8,000 bucks. All right, so we got to be real good. We got to be a real good worker. That's okay. We can do this. Good evening. Gil? Is Gil back? Oh, hey, Gil. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Oh, wait. That's not how you greet me after. <laughs> That's how you greet me after so many days. Ever doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. See, Jill, he'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. <laughs> I guess it is Monday. Nice. Sick reference to Hassey, brah. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? Need for you having a key never arose. True enough. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? I don't know, do they need washing? I mean, we were closed on Sunday, so uh, they probably don't need washing, but whatever. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. Remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. Hell yeah, I was worried, Gil. I mean, I know I give you hell and call you John every once in a while, but I still get worried like any normal human. <clears throat> or, I'm sorry, any normal-ish human. <clears throat> when it comes to you, I don't know. That <laughs> smug-faced Gil. All right, wipe that fucking half smirk off your face, you asshole. Right, though, you shouldn't make ladies wear so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Moss, oh, so why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Weren't you cold? Probably because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. Oh, boss. So sweet. I don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. You know how much better the world would be if a lot of people believed in this? Preserving cuteness. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Well, a little bit. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. Enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, does she ever 10 bar herself, or is she just back in the office all the time? 10 is fine. Did I miss anything? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> Let's start her up. Let's get some tunes going. I like the opening tune. We're keeping it. Oops. Uh, blip, blip. Actually, I kind of like Underground Club. We're going to put that back. Every day is night. Get rid of that. Put Umemoto back. Everything will be okay. Nighttime maneuvers. Snowfall. Or that one, Reminiscence, sure, Metropolis was good, Digital Drive was probably pretty good. Oh, what was the one I was going to put back? Underground Club, I want to put Underground Club back. Okay. <clears throat> That's a good song, I like it. Mix drinks and change lives, there we go, yeah, Gil. Glad to see you're fine, I mean it. Thanks. Yeah. Go clean the bathroom, buddy. Excuse me. Looking for Dana Zane. Uh, who wants to know? <clears throat> Song selection affect the story of it just for shits and giggles? I don't know, honestly. Hiller, it's Brian. Okay. Just a sec. Ah, uh, some Brian guys look like Mario. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um, you heard her. It's all right. I'll wait. Weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC regional manager. Well, I kind of gathered you were some BTC head honcho with what with the coat and all. Um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. Ha, huh, don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Well, good, because I certainly didn't. I don't need just, just another client. All right, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. Sugar Rush. All right, Sugar Rush. We can do that. We can fucking do that, 100%. But, but. But, and since he is here on business, I probably shouldn't make it too strong, but... We're just gonna do that. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, stop. All right. Bam, here you go. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. Anybody can make one? Most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Cheers. Simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. Well, you could say that about any of these 24 drinks that I can make, right? 
Can't even do that. Your future as a bartender is not bright. You're Jill, right? Yeah, how did you know my name? Has a uh, boss been talking about me? Or are you going to be my new boss once this place closes? Guess he must have a few questions for me, am I right? Uh, also concerning the closure warning Valhalla got? Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. <clears throat> Don't mention it. Now where to start? Saw the news and the information about the blah 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 blah. Yep. Criminal organizations in their ranks? Oh boy. Corruption reaches all levels, I guess. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. Oh, really then? Bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply, at least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. All it takes a bit of time to set up, proven an effective method for money laundering. Well, that's the whole point of laundering, right? You pick a legit business to front as and change monies, and that's how it goes. Where did Valhalla come in? <clears throat> Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low-income ones are the primary suspects, really. It's not just Valhalla. Any small, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily. Closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. Oh, I see. Oh, don't tell me boss is one of the shady ones. Oh, please. Low sales were a problem. Lots of bars would close every year. Probably true. They'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. It helps. I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Why? This city's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage. Wait a minute. <laughs> chemical damage? Is that like a euphemism for people puking everywhere? Or shady drinks? One of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. Closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole farmer fabrics affair from- You mean with the person spitting all over the place? That was hardly our fault. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Ugh. You see anything else? I don't remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? A suplex. Really? Alright. Ah, the suplex. I get it. It's a wrestling move, so of course boss probably created it, right? Wall. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. I mean, is this dude paying for his drinks, I hope? I hope. And next. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a bam! What? Oh, I, I clicked age for some reason. That was dumb. I think I didn't try to serve that. One, two, three, all on the rocks. Oh, what? Oh, I clicked that. Whatever. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom! Have a suplex. There you go. <clears throat> Ristry from Form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. Ask the creator of the drink just over there. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> oh, poor Gil. Lol. It'll call you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Uh, what a slick cover story. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. Be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really. Not right now. You already evaluate my performance right now. How would you rate me? Oh dear, please. Gil, uh, Jill, coming on strong. I would rate you cool. Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. Top-notch bartender. Bam! We did it! <clears throat> now, excuse me. Surprised you haven't met him before. See my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Girl with a red mohawk. Nothing's coming to mind. I don't know what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill was it? Oh, is Stella the other Lilim? Yeah! Stella! Welcome back, honey! Yeah! You alright? Your ears are looking a little flat there. Uh, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Alright, a big ass beer. You got it, honey. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixerood. Bam! Here's your big beer. Oh, Stella, what's going on? What's wrong, honey? What's wrong? Tell us, tell us all about it. Pull up a stool and tell us. 
You know, Say, right? Oh, no! It's not bad news about Say. Of course. Oh, of course she was. She's okay, though, right? Oh, okay, good. She's she's not dead. Hoping that maybe you've seen her. I was hoping so too. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, I hope Say is okay. Hopefully she's coming in later today or something like that. Oh, Say, I hope you're okay. You know, I could tell her everything will be all right, but that would sound a bit condescending. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, what what do you what do you do? Do you do you go with like the trite? fucking cliched phrase, or you just kind of go, or do you dump the honesty here? Nah, don't, don't make a joke. Distracting her? I don't think clearly went under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there's a private eye here the other day. I? <laughs> oh, maybe I was a bad choice of words. Sorry, bit on edge. Private detective, yes. You want his services? What's his name? Art, ban, no, Von Delay. Was it Von Delay? Come on. I don't, I don't remember this, the dude's name. He was kind of a dickhole though, so I don't know if I'd want to... Art guy, yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. Oh, okay. Somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, so let's see, what is it? It's denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and uh, acceptance, right? Are the five stages of grief? Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel, really. He seemed like kind of a doofus. I believe you'll give me answers about Say, whatever they might be. I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Yeah, you and me both, honey. Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it, Stella. It's fine. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. Right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Or all three! All at once! I don't know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Something sweet, and I'm gonna make it big for you, Stella, because I like you. Alright, something sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, how about... wait, Brantini... oh no, Brantini isn't strong. Sweet, classy, and happy. She deserves to be happy. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Aged and mixer rude. Shaka, 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 shaka. Bam! Ever brand team. Is really like Say? Well, I don't have brothers and sisters. My social interactions are usually strictly business, so Say's more than a friend to me. She's, she's. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't, don't be nervous about it, Stella. It's fine. Sorry. Rather talk it up at a bad time. Don't worry about it. I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. Oh, that's very sweet. I think she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. To deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. Fair, 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 fair. Let's say I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me, but here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Oh, Stella, no, don't! Don't do that, please! The outburst. Oh, don't worry about it, Stella, but please don't. Oh, why did we have the perfect music for that, too? Oh! It was getting to me a little bit, actually. Mm. Actually, kind of jealous of the level of self control you're using here. Damn it, Stella, no, please. I'm gonna be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take him a break and you could use some. Oh, for a given value of fresh. Fine, thanks. Okay then. Yo, please serve us, Miss Stella, while I'm taking my break. Leave it to me. Oh, poor Stella. I hope Say's okay. Oh man, it's getting late. However, I'm gonna take a brief break. I'll be back in a minute. Hope that didn't fuck anything up capture-wise. Oh, nope, looks cool. Okay, he's the wrong key. Wrong key combo there.
<clears throat> Okie dokie. We are back. Back arena after having a not great conversation with Stella there. Seems like shit's going kind of wrong for her and Say might be in trouble, which sucks because I like her. But whatever. Let's see what we can do about this. <clears throat> While we're at kind of a breaking point here, um, what do people think about the new layout I'm trying out? Uh, if you are new to the stream tonight, obviously you won't have quite as much of an opinion on it since it's your first time seeing it. But I tried to clean it up a little bit, move a few things around for intentional and not quite so intentional purposes, but whatever. So let me know what you think about it if you got a moment and you don't mind sharing your opinion. God damn, it's chilly outside. And we gotta pick some new tunes. All right, what was going on? Like when we were talking to Stella, it was the perfect tune, but it was also not the best tune because it matched the mood so well. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that. I like your love is a drug, it's super good. Every day is night is not great, let's get rid of that. And bam, all right, one, two, three, four, five. No, I like Underground Club, we're putting that back. Let's put that one back in there. Everything will be okay, oops, nope. <laughs> not gonna double up on that. And maneuvers, just put reminiscence in there with renewed hope. I hope so. Uh, we just got rid of the end. Oh no, the end district is still in there. Take the staff out of orbit, and I want to put. Uh, let's actually take out nighttime maneuvers. What did I want to. Oh, excuse me. What did I want to put back in there? Underground club. That's right. <laughs> Such a good tune. I'm back. What would a kid like you know about that, huh? Just giving you the facts as they are. Oh, what happened while I was gone? Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking, everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. Ah, oh, crap, so... Dick Nuts McGee, the private dick, is back, apparently. Oh, God, what a fucking... What a fucking tool. I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced, you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Whoa. All right. We're just coming strong right out the gate right there, Art, huh? And you see that those big companies don't care about us? Yeah, also true. Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? It's one big test group for them to use however they want. And again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. Well, isn't... Wait, what? Isn't Stella a Lilum? I wouldn't necessarily say kid is the right descriptor, but maybe I don't know. <clears throat> true, I don't know, and true, I may have privilege that clouds my judgment. Can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought, brought, brought quite a few benefits? Like what? An integration program they started is making huge advances in AI departments. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Wow. If that happens in my lifetime, that's going to be pretty fucking weird. But hey, technology marches on. Stella's a human? Really? I figured because of the crazy eye and the, the cat ears and things. Oh, that's right. She was talking about some treatment when she was a kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. My bad. AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's little in prison. Uh. Hey, I went rogue, transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although well, the program has proven to have reformed many AIs, they don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. <sighs> as far as success rates go, a success rate for converting potentially harmful members of society into something better, you would hope for something better than 88%. But whatever. It's better than 0%. You can say that for sure. City also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu's corpus success, success has made more and more companies bring their products here. The gap between classes continues to grow. Well, things haven't changed in the year of our Lord 2070X, have they? More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. True enough. Also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Well, and there's a higher chance of those products probably being predatory, but you know, whatever. 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Zybatsis Corp's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. Okay. Amazing for those who can afford them. 
Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. Whoa. Ah, what's the answer to that one? You have a point. Oh, there are also more jobs. All the companies coming down here need personnel, so the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40%. Holy shit. That's, that's pretty good. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. <laughs> this is for the sore baby. <laughs> He does kind of look like a big baby, doesn't he? Doesn't he, doesn't he, doesn't he? <clears throat> four of each ingredient all in the rocks and mixed. All right, one, two, oops. Two, three, four rocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On the rocks and mixed. Check a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Oh, what? Oh, damn it, I hit aged again. What the hell? Dang it. Second time I've done that. Oh well. What's up with... Oh, you can save shit. Interesting. On the rocks and mixed. There we go. There's your Zen stuff. God, this is awful. Well, why the fuck did you order it then, you shit? Asshole? Yeah, exactly. It's your order. I hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? We do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits that we've gained over time are limited to a few. Talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still luxury belonging only to a few. Yeah, that's true. It does take a long time for those to filter down, if they filter down at all, right? <clears throat> and even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. Doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Yes, I will agree. I will agree. Yeah, let's put on some wrestling. Looks baller. It's really back and forth with those two, isn't it? Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. Only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against somebody. Yeah, mature. Whatever. Yeah, what a shit. Art, you're, you're a shit. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I couldn't able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole thing started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. it wasn't your friend. Well, you know, good news where good news do, I suppose. It just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. Oh, no. Oh, say, please don't. Please don't be part of something deeper. You're too nice and too straightforward to be part of something really deep and sinister. Oh. Thanks. Keep it up. Face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. Well, if you lose hope, then uh, there's not much else you can lose, right? He's telling the truth, so he might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. Well, she's also the one that uh, jumped from a, an air taxi or something and climbed down a fire escape to get here, so... And I guess resourceful is one way to look at it. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches. <laughs> oh, two bad touches. <laughs> oh, dear. So wait. Oh, I see. You can swap between them. All right. Okay. That's weird. All right. Well, I want to make uh, Stella's a big bad. <laughs> I want to make Stella's a big bad touch, but I want to just give Art a small bad touch. <laughs> but I don't know which is going to be which, so we're just going to have to go with our gut here. And I'm going to guess hers is the first one. Uh, two flanner jai, which means four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all on the rocks, and mixerood. Shika shika, and then bim boom bam. Oh, I see, okay. Oh, I see. All right, so let's give give one. Uh, oh, I see, and then it just auto advances me. All right, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make a normal one for Dick Nuts McGee on the other side there. One, two, three, four, on the rocks, and Mixerood. Bam. All right, there you go. Remember this one party I went to, the guy that showed up, that came up with the name of this drink showed up. 
After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. Gee, I can't imagine why, right? <clears throat> they didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? I probably would. It wouldn't be a slap, though. It'd be more of a punch directly to the fucking sternum, but, you know. You okay, Jill? I'm f fine. <laughs> I like Jill. I like Jill a lot. I don't know, think of it. Did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? <clears throat> Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? <clears throat> Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she had to be at the... Oh, shit. Trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. <clears throat> oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and generally she has no problem getting people on her side. Or escaping notice, as the case may be, right? And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... One star to take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga. Oh boy. And... Oh! Oh no, don't, don't freeze mid-sentence like that, Stella. That leaves it open to all sorts of lewd interpretations. <laughs> uh, uh, she got real interested for a second. No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. She's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. Good cover. Good cover, honey. I just hope she's well, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream, Paul. Want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. You sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I have a piano man. Piano woman? Oh, okay. Damn, I was hoping they would go side by side there. Alright, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. On the rocks. And mix a rood. Shake a, shake a, shake a, shake a, bam. There you go. This is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Oh, nice, you ass. Took advantage of her generosity in the worst way possible. What a shit. Jesus, did he, like, slam that in two seconds or what? Just gonna drink and run, huh? And anything else, Miss Hoshi. Aw, so we've got Stella Hoshi. Did we know her last name? I feel like we did. Oh, she's happy about what he discovered, though, so... I'm still not... I'm still not 100% sold on what he discovered, to be honest. Like, I don't want to believe that Say is some some sort of shady dealer, but... You know, weird shit happens. Not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Please come again. Mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Haha. <laughs> Place is soothing. Oh, Stella, you're sweet. Go sit over there near the arcades. All right then, that would be all. Quite a mess. The situation with uh, Robert. <clears throat> Ryan, you have me. What? Who the hell is this? Now we're at MI6. MI6 Hall C. Oh boy. Okay. Hmm. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss. Miss Hoshi yourself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. Didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Yeah, I'll we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Wait, who the, who the, what, what's up with this? Is this uh, Brian's assistant or something? That's certainly not boss, right? Oh, okay. Hanging up is a bit laggy, lol. Call me Cass, by the way. Okay, hello, Cass. Would you like a drink? You guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. It's not hurting anyone. I wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way. <laughs> These streets are calm. Arrived yet again at the cough. Oh, God. The Majestic Hall of Heroes. Please tell me this isn't that weirdo from the other night. Oh, no. Not Verhelio. Why? No. Don't give me some cryptic bullshit. Just tell me what drink you want, you ass. Well, I was right on the fucking middle part, but not the first and third. <laughs> Virhirio. Okay. 
and whatever. Yo, that's weird. Sorry, I'm not gonna call him that. I'm gonna call him Virhelio. Ver 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 not doing the Rio part, sorry, brah. Virgilio, you said you said as much last time you came. Pronunciations are silly things society imposes on letters. Oh my god, what a what a guy. What a guy. They want to be free, they want to be pronounced however they want. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, man. You look winded, Virgilio. <laughs> We're all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Yeah. Wound, I think is the word you're looking for, but whatever. It's fine. Stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore, and yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. Yeah, take that, shitlord. <laughs> That's, um, I was jogging. <laughs> Just like that, I can jog however I want. Yeah, I guess that's true. Don't let anybody shame you for jogging how you want. What can I get you? Something fake. Something fake, huh? Maybe one of those promo, dri promo drinks are pretty fake, actually. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Fake, maybe smug? Which one was the smug one? And it's like a martini, but not a martini, so it's fake in that way, right? So I'm probably going to go with Brantini, but let's just take a quick peel through the list here and see if there's anything else that might register as fake. Uh... Uh... No, that's probably the best bet we got. Let's go with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my gut on this one. one. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and one. All aged and mixerood. Shika, 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 shika. Bam! All right. Is that gonna be fake enough for you, buddy? Tell me why this is fake. Cause it should be a martini, not a fucking brantini. Oh come on, really? <clears throat> Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. <laughs> That's a really good that's a really good explanation. Say, hey, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Come on, Steampunk Museum, really? Aw, oh, no. If that's a real fucking thing, that's rad as hell. I love it. I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that vis visit the premises, but lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Told me stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. I'm guessing you're not, you don't really work there, do you? Lol. Tell me all those machines would be rustier than they already are, but that's kind of the point of steampunk. It's all kind of creaky and shit. Even the visitors get that I'm the only one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah, yeah, okay. The veneer's wearing a little bit thin there, Virgilio. But he treats you like a janitor or something like that. That's because you are, probably. Exactly! <laughs> okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, oh boy. Purity. Purity, as in pure alcohol? Huh. Huh. Purity, huh? Classic? Frothy water. God, how what would what would even be pure about this? I mean, the, the the purest thing I can think about is like is this. But even that's not pure. Just give him a pure kick in the nuts. Believe me, if I could, I will. This guy is uh, not pleasant to deal with. But what could purity even mean? Hmm. It's most everything else is uh, at least three ingredients, right? Purity. Ugh. 
Man, why can't this guy just give me the name of a drink? What a shit. Uh, promo bland, bubbly classic brand, bubbly classic. All right, so I'm, th I'm thinking Fringe Weaver. But... But it's not the only one with only two ingredients. So I could be wildly incorrect. Ah, we'll just go with it. That's that my my first my first instinct is this. So we'll just go with it. Aged and mixed. I guess that's not pure, but whatever. We'll go with it. And we'll see what happens here. Is this pure enough for you? <clears throat> How is this pure? It's almost pure alcohol. It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Oh my goodness, really? That's so dumb. Yes, beautiful. Hey, you, the guy over there. What, Gil? John? Robert? What are we calling him today? <clears throat> Can't remember. Maybe? I think. Uh, no, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. <clears throat> Aw, Stella, you're leaving? Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. But okay. Thanks, huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face, that eye. <clears throat> what about my eye, punk? <laughs> yeah, Stella. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> we haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Mm, yeah, really? Good talking to you, bartender. Yeah, you better run, you little shit. You just scare off a client? Apparently. Sorry. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Thanks for getting rid of that D-bag for me, actually. We done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients, considering the whole situation. Oh, shit! That Verhelio guy. Did you actually met? Yeah, you could say that. Gil stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, mostly catching up, to be honest, but I hadn't seen him in a while. Offered him a drink when we met last week. What to do after the bar closes? I tried to, uh... Explain the situation with Robert here. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes, all right? Also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? Part-time, you'll meet him tomorrow. Oh, Him, so it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Hey, come on now, boss. You don't need another guy, come on. <laughs> I suddenly have deja vu. Oh boy. You alright, Jill? Yeah, I'm fine. Must be nothing. Lol. Yeah, no mistakes. That's what I like to see. How did we make so much in tips? That's ridiculous. But heck yeah, we making the big bucks now. No mistakes, even with that asshole's cryptic ass drink orders. Whatever. Flawless service, and I got a little little bump from the boss again. That was awesome. All right, cool. Well, it's uh, getting late, so we're going to have to call it for tonight. We're going to have to call it for tonight. Um, however, 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 however. So this week is kind of weird since it's a holiday and all. So I won't be having a stream on Wednesday, and I, but I will do my level best to get back for a stream on Friday. <clears throat> considering, you know, Thanksgiving, whatever. <sighs> because I would really hate to make this only one stream this week. It'd be really kind of nuts considering how awesome this game is being. <laughs> 8,000 for the electricity, right? Right? Shit's expensive in the year of our Lord 2070X. But we'll have plenty. By that time, we'll have plenty. We already made up more than half the difference in one night alone. But uh, that's how shit goes. Uh, how do I get out of here? Here we go, exit. All right, so that's it for tonight. Next stream will be, hopefully, Friday night, 7 p.m. CST, and then we'll kind of go from there um, because I will not be here on Wednesday night. Um, as always, any feedback you want to give me, if you like the games I'm playing, if you like the new, the new stream layout, please certainly let me know. If you don't like it, please let me know. I'll do what I can to change it, I suppose, so that everybody's happy. <sighs> but until Friday night, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.